Picture yourself moving to a new country without knowing or speaking the language. Know that learning a new language is difficult and not have anyone around you to help you because your friends or parents are in the same page as you. They don't know anything. Here in Springfield, Massachusetts, there is a program that you have in school that helps students from another country who are having trouble speaking, writing, or reading, and comprehending the English language. And that program is called the ELL English Language Learners. This department in Massachusetts schools have many goals for the students, and one of them is to provide the instructional support needed for students to master the English language and reading, writing, speaking, and listening in all academic domains to facilitate participation in the general education program as quickly The ways that ELL students can improve their English is by talking with native English speakers. And I think that sports is a terrific way to do that because anybody, even if they're just beginning to learn English, can pick up great vocabulary through sports. So outside activities is a great way to improve English beyond the classroom. It also helps the English speakers broaden their perspective on what's going on in the world. We have students in Central High who speak 28 different languages. They come from Asia, Africa, Latin America. Native speakers of English can learn a lot about the world by speaking with our English language learners. So it benefits both the English speakers and the English learners to have those conversations. Acts? Yeah, he's correct, very good. Give me another name for Act One, Ms. Soon. What is another name for Act One? Act One says one. Oh, exposition. Yes. Exposition. Cha-ching. Um, Can everybody say it? Exposition. Exposition. You have to memorize this because I'm going to give you the chest on the structure of the play. What shape, what shape does a Shakespeare play take when we make the diagram? Picked up, yes, that's what I was trying to say. Fast food. Fast food. Personal responsibility. I've had a couple students do that in the past, and that one was real interesting, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, you can chart someone's eating and you can also interview people at like McDonald's or Wendy's or something so you have a lot of options of how to get information on that. Here, have you thought about what you might want to write about? In public schools. Okay, um, same thing. You could make up a small survey and you don't have to ask strangers, you could ask people you know, but you could find out how people feel about it. You might even want to make a small, if you have a lot of friends here who don't to come to the United States was a very challenging thing for me because my parents didn't speak any English when we came here. And my English was very bad, but I can understand a few words that I can understand from American people. And it's very, very obstacles for me because everything is different from my country. The way they talk, everything, the culture, the way, the cities, and everything is new for me. I never expected this kind of place in my life and it was very challenging but I had the many ways to make it this right way. I, I get help from my friends, teachers and everything to get a better and better in this country and the more important is the language. My language is uh, most important for me to uh, get better in, in this country because if you don't speak English that's very bad for you and that's the most important for me and I try to learn quick as possible so I can get better and better in this country so I can help my parents, my all relatives and my friends. And other thing is the culture. Our culture is way different than these countries because in, in this country they, they celebrate in different way in different time and we celebrate in different time. But we try to forget our culture and learn their culture because 
even if we uh, celebrate our culture, it will be weird for the American because our culture is totally different. Translate that into how can students get more help to improve their uh, grades and, and not only their grades but their understanding of the content in, in uh, school. How can students improve their English outside of class? And the short answer to that one is by reading. Students need to do more reading. Uh, and through reading, especially books that aren't easy books, books that are going to make you struggle, I think that's one of the best ways. It increases your vocabulary and it also teaches you the pattern of academic language. And number four, how can the ELL department benefit students in the future? So I want to talk about, uh, first of all, with the, how can, how can uh, students get more help? Well, let's talk about what the problems are. What do, they, what do students need help with? And I think that the ELO students, uh, the problem is that, we're not, that they're not passing the content classes and they're struggling with the content um, MCAS and, and exams like that. So math, history, science, that's the area where we're struggling in the ELO department. I think we're doing a, a particularly good job of teaching English. And the MCAS numbers support this. So how are we going to address this problem and what can we do to help the students? Well, we need to make teaching and, uh, teaching and learning science and math and history uh, more a part of every class that we teach.